I found my backpack from second grade and today we're going to be discovering what's inside together. I was doing the math and I literally haven't touched this in 15 years. 15 years! That is a really, really, really long time. Honestly, it makes me feel kind of old, but as you can see, it's a Hello Kitty backpack and I loved Hello Kitty when I was a kid. I believe I also had a Hello Kitty backpack in fifth grade. I've done many of these videos on my channel. It's sort of like a series at this point. Second grade is one of my very favorite years of elementary school because I had an awesome teacher and she used to give us cookies during class and these sour blue candy straws. Life was good in second grade. Like I loved this era of my life. So everything inside of here is just going to be like a blast from the past and it's gonna feel so nostalgic. I am ready for it. If there's one thing that I really love in life, it's looking back at old memories and just kind of reminiscing. It just releases endorphins. But you guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. Here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge, and I want you to comment down below. If you had to be frozen at any age, forever and ever and ever, what age would you choose? Or what grade would you choose? Honestly, I feel like I'd want to stay this age that I'm at right now because I'm old enough to where I can drive, I can go grocery shopping, I have my own money, I have my own house and all of that. But yet I'm not on the old side of the spectrum. I like where I am right now and I wish I could just freeze time, honestly. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. This is a heavy one, you guys. I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a hot minute. In the side pockets right here, oh my gosh. I remember these so well. <gasps> Wait, okay, so these are so old that the liquid that was once inside of them is literally dry. I'm sure you guys have probably seen these before. I don't know if they still make these for kids, but basically these little bottles, it looked like they had liquid inside and when you would tip it downward to feed your baby doll, it would look like it all disappeared and then when you flip it back up, it would fill up again. It was so cool. All right, so this one was milk and this one was juice. I had a huge collection of baby dolls and I just thought that these were the coolest things. Ew, that's so gross. I know it's not real, but dang. These are vintage. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in the other side pocket. So we are just going to go straight for the main compartment. Oh, wow. I don't want to look at what's inside because I think it's more fun to just pull things out and be surprised, but it's so tempting. Okay, so first we have this paper and uh, looks like it was some sort of assignment. So this was from October 15th, 2007. And it says, if I made a million, oh, okay, this is gonna be interesting. I sort of remember this assignment. So we had to write about what we would do if we had a million dollars. So I put, if I made a million, I would buy seven birds, five mice, three puppies, one kitten, and 89 fish. <laughs> Specifically, 89 fish, guys. With the extra money, I would buy all of my pets some very, very nice and clean cages. I will also have to buy them food. My pets will be very happy. Okay, so I don't think I realized that I could have done a heck of a lot more with a million dollars than buy a few pets, but... I do remember at this age, I loved animals so much. I had honestly just about every pet growing up. Not at the same time, but in my lifetime, I have had dogs, cats, hamsters, fish, hermit crabs, a sugar glider, mealworms. Yes, mealworms, long story. Birds, lizards, frogs, bunnies, mice. Literally the list goes on. I'm sure I'm forgetting things. I had quite the variety of different animals. That was fun to read. Oh boy. Okay, so we have a folder that is filled with things. So I'm going to put this backpack down here for a second because yeah, there's a lot to go through. All right, we've barely scratched the surface. Oh my, ew. Okay. That's so disgusting. It looks like a bloody booger. I'm sure it's not but ew! Okay, so it looks like we had to color a fish. I made him rainbow and then that was me in second grade. But what is that nasty brown stain? I don't know what that is, but okay, that's cute, that's cute. Then we have, 
I remember this so well. So, okay, in second grade, this was honestly one of the highlights of the year. My teacher would select one student each week, write their name on the board, and then everybody in the classroom would have to write out something that they liked about that classmate. So it was called, We're Nuts About You, and this was mine. So inside, these were things that my classmates liked about me. So let's see. Okay, so the first one that's in here is actually something I wrote about myself, because I guess you had to write why you like yourself as well. And I put, I'm glad to be me because I have pretty hair. <laughs> Dear Kayla, I like you because you and Haley sing us songs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Haley was my friend in second grade and we took this theater class together and we would always perform in front of the class. Um, I like you because you're my best friend and you play with me. I like you because you are funny. I like you because you sit with me at lunch. I like you because you are funny and nice to people and you get called edgy by Miss Crummy. Edgy? What? I don't remember that. Like what? Of course they could have been trying to say something else and misspelled it, but that's, that's interesting. I think you are smart and I like playing jump rope with you. I liked when you played duck duck goose with me. <laughs> Dear Kayla, I like you because you have pretty clothes. Oh, these are so cute. I'm not gonna read every single one. I love that. Next up, oh, okay. So we have something with Santa Claus on it. And it looks like on the back, I wrote a note to Santa in cursive. Wow. Yeah, that's right. In second grade, we learned how to write in cursive. And I don't know if schools still teach cursive. Let me know you guys. For those of you that are still in grade school, um, do you know cursive? Is that still taught? Let me know. But it says, Dear Santa, may I please have Pixos? Oh my gosh, I remember Pixos. You guys probably have no idea what that is. If you wanna know what they are, look up Pixos commercial. It's P-I-X-O-S, I think. It's hard to explain, but it was basically this new toy in a sort of like a craft where you uh, make designs out of these little beads and then you spray it with a squirt bottle and it makes little creations. So yeah, it says, may I please have some Pixos? You are a very generous man. And if you can't come right now, then that's okay. Oh, I wanted these early as an early Christmas gift. I was trying to convince Santa. Although if you are unable to give us Pixos, me and my brother Scotty would really like it if you could give us some toys from the land of misfit toys. Okay, if you guys have ever seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, then you know what I'm referencing. The misfit toys were basically toys that were strange and nobody wanted and I felt really sorry for them. So I asked for them for Christmas. I put thanks for everything. Love, Kayla. Wow. Okay, so I will say I do remember that Santa did give us the Pixos early. Um, so I guess it worked out my favor that I was very polite. <laughs> then we have this right here. And oh my gosh, there's me with my strawberry shortcake kite. And I believe this is when we were learning about nouns. And so we had to write down things that are in the picture that were nouns. So I put tree, bench, little brother, grass, and kitten. Do you guys know your nouns? Person, place, or thing. Next up we have this drawing. Okay, so ever since I was little, I always loved rain and rainy days. And I remember I was obsessed with this. So it's two friends playing and singing under a big umbrella in the rain. And there's also like a squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel that's joining in. And I think that one was supposed to be me and I'm singing, these are a few of my favorite things. Do you guys know that song from The Sound of Music? There is so much in this backpack. We're gonna get into those things in a second, but there are still a lot more papers in here. Oh, I drew myself as a cheerleader. Wow, look at those pom-poms. <laughs> I was never a cheerleader. I wanted to be one. This was when I was seven. My favorite activity was baking cookies. Favorite food, popcorn. Favorite animal, birds, which is still true. Favorite person, mom, also still true. Subject, music. Month, December. Day, Friday. Color, blue. And place, the beach. A lot of these things stayed the same, honestly. My favorite month now is probably October, though. I love Halloween season. And my favorite color is pink, not blue anymore. But that was fun to read. <gasps> Guys, I have a note that I wrote to the Tooth Fairy. This should be good. It says, Dear Tooth Fairy, if I give you this tooth, 
Will you give me a Webkin? Okay, does anyone remember Webkins? They were like the thing when I was in second grade. Everyone wanted them, everyone collected them. It was sort of the way that everyone loves Squishmallows right now. So anyway, if I give you this tooth, will you give me a Webkin? If you do, then I pinky swear I will never ever trick you again. <laughs> And if I do, then from now on, you only have to give me money if you want. What the heck? That's so greedy. Like, okay, so first of all, I used to try to trick the tooth fairy all the time with grains of rice and like the tips of candy corn, like the white part. And so I said, oh, if I ever trick you again, then from now on, you only have to give me money. Like only? What the heck? If you give me some money, that would be really helpful because I have a blind old elderly and nearly dead mouse why oh my gosh love kayla wow that was a lot very often i would write notes to the tooth fairy santa claus the easter bunny so that was fun um there is one more paper in here but it has a lot of personal info on there so i'm just going to let that one go i was very interesting in second grade looking back at some of those assignments and artwork it just brings me back in time and it gives me this feeling of just like happiness and comfort and just good memories honestly anyways we are going to keep going this is probably going to be a very long video because there's a lot in here the next thing we have is this barbie she's wearing a purple dress and she's got her hair in this fancy little bun i did like barbies in second grade i still like strawberry shortcake dolls more but i do remember venturing into the world of barbies I always found it so weird how their feet were always like standing on their tiptoes. Okay, what is this? <gasps> oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. When I was a kid, this is what we played with all the time. I remember I could play with blocks for hours. I would always create little playgrounds and then I would have my bird go through different obstacles and just check out the playground. And it was literally my favorite thing to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was bird poop on this somewhere. Next up we have, wait, more blocks? I feel more. Yeah, okay, here's a little Lego person. I'm gonna call these chubby Legos, <laughs> okay? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I remember this guy. So he came with the blocks and he was the ghost. And me and my cousins were always obsessed with him because it glows in the dark. We colored on his face, I guess, to make him look more scary. There was a note inside of him or something. I, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna find out. Um, this is really confusing. It says, Come meet me in the barn at, <laughs> and then whoever wrote this used Roman numerals so it looked more ghostly and old fashioned. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so we definitely were playing with these blocks in my grandma's house because she had this shed in her backyard and we called it the haunted barn. So that's why it says, come meet me in the barn at whatever that's supposed to say. From the ghost and honestly it's really hard to read what this says because <laughs> i think we were all trying to just like scare each other and pretend to be the ghost writing this so we tried to write like a ghost honestly i cannot read this but oh my gosh that brings back so many memories like the fact that as kids we were able to entertain ourselves with this little glow-in-the-dark plastic ghost that's very creative moving right along Oh, okay, we got two in one. So we have a broken stethoscope. That's kind of sad. Maybe I can fix it. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Deep breath in and out. I loved playing doctor when I was little, but yet I hated going to the doctor. Literally, I don't remember this very well, but my mom told me that when I was a kid and I'd have to go to the doctor, I would take off my shoes in the car and kick the seat and scream. Drama. Okay, and then the other thing I pulled out was watercolor paints. I loved painting with watercolors. So believe it or not, there's still more in here. So, oh, the Tooth Fairy. I made a book called The Tooth Fairy. That was my illustration, but it looks like it got water on it. Um, it says, every night the Tooth Fairy comes and collects shiny teeth. I had an obsession with the Tooth Fairy, but she had a problem. She wasn't collecting enough. And then I guess I gave up after that because, yeah, the rest is blank. But you know what? I had the right intentions. What in the world? 
A ketchup bottle? Huh? I'm actually genuinely confused. Oh, okay, never mind. I remember what this was. So in second grade, I was obsessed with magic and pranks. And so this ketchup bottle was for pranks. Let me show you. So it looks like it has real ketchup in it, right? Wrong! There's a string, a red string. And I remember going up to people and just pretending that I was about to squirt ketchup on them that is actually a string. Oh my gosh. This brings back so many memories. Next up we have, there's so much in this backpack, you guys. Okay, we have two pieces of paper. This is something that I drew. Oh my gosh. So I always wore my hair in these little buns. I still wear my hair like that every now and then, but I wrote in cursive. I am the prettiest girl. <laughs> that was my Halloween costume. And I'm using my Bella Dancerella ballet bar. I got it for Christmas and I thought I was a professional dancer when I used that thing. All right, and then this was a picture from music class. I am, let me try to point myself out to you guys. I'm that one right there. I remember I was just so happy in that moment. Music class was probably my favorite specialty class. Um, like we had art, computer, gym, music, and library. And music was my favorite. I loved music and I also loved art. My least favorite was computer and gym. Library was okay. I think that's all for the papers. Um, oh my gosh, Mr. Sketch Markers. <gasps> Wait, okay, guys, Mr. Sketch was literally the best. So all these different markers are scented and I know that they still make scented markers, but these just hit diff. So I'm going to sniff one and see if it brings back old memories. Wait, oh my gosh. Scent is powerful. This is supposed to be blueberry. The thing that's just like blowing my mind right now is the last time my nose smelled one of these was when I was literally eight years old. Oh my gosh. These have such a distinct scent to them. I'm really surprised that the gang's all here. Like none of them are missing. Crazy. This backpack is getting a lot lighter, but there's still more. Oh my gosh. I loved Webkins in second grade. Like I said, they were the thing. You know how Squishmallows and Fidgets are popular? These things were popular. They were popular for quite a few years. So this was when my Webkins and I don't remember its name anymore, but it's a bunny. And yeah, that's the little Webkins symbol. It even smells old. It smells like my attic. All of their fur felt very similar. It's like, it's hard to explain, but just holding this and feeling it and looking at it, it just brings back so many memories. I remember I was so obsessed with Webkinz that even when I didn't have any dollar bills, like from my birthday or doing a chore or whatever, it's not easy to make money as a kid. I would go around my house, lift up couch cushions, go through the washing machine, go through pockets, and I would try to find enough change to buy one of these. And then I would go into the Hallmark store and I would literally count out pennies just so I could get more because I loved them. Then we have a beginner's guide to cockatiels. And I used to have one of these birds. His name was Big Bird. And then his name was Bucky. And he had a lot of names. But yeah, I miss him so much. And I always think that maybe one day I will get another cockatiel. And then, oh my gosh. I remember this so much. His name was Chickeny. Yes, Chickeny. I also had a parrot and I named him Parody and a cat that I called Caddy. I had like four of these puppets and I always thought that they were magical. I would always put on puppet shows for my little brother and I had so much fun doing it because I felt like he thought they were real and he didn't know it was my hand making them move. So I have very fond memories with that. Um. Okay, we have a... A baby doll bonnet. Do you guys even know what a bonnet is? I feel like that's such an old fashioned term and an old fashioned thing, but this is a baby bonnet for a baby doll. I don't think there's any baby dolls in here, but there are two more things. This was second grader me as a flower, 
Okay. And then we have a random plastic donut. This is making me hungry. I'm actually starving right now. Okay, guys. So this is the grand finale. We are going to go through the front pockets. I honestly did not think that there would be so much stuff inside of this backpack. You just never know what you're going to find. I loved Junie B. Jones books. And fun fact, actually sad fact, these books are banned, like quite literally banned. If you don't believe me, look it up. Um, yeah, bookstores and libraries aren't allowed to sell these anymore, I guess, because, well, there are a few reasons. First of all, Junie B. Jones had behavioral issues and her grammar was incorrect. And so apparently that's just the end of the world. And so they don't sell these anymore because it's a bad example for kids. Honestly, I thought these books were incredibly entertaining and I found her very relatable. I remember she had a little brother and she had a best friend, best friend, and she had a best friend named Lucille. I had pretty much every single Junie B. Jones book, but this one was The Stupid Smelly School Bus. This was my first one I ever read. So let me know guys, have you ever seen these books before? Do you own one? What do you guys think? Again, I think they're funny and the world needs to just chill a little bit. Like why are we banning children's books just because they're not like proper and perfect? Seriously, like have a little fun, relax. Anyway, then we've got some uh, pink pipe cleaners and I remember what I used to do with these. I would twist them and make them into friendship bracelets and I'd give them to my friends. And the best was whenever you had a bunch of different colors and you could twist the different colors together and make really cool patterns. Does anyone else remember these? Or do you still use these to make friendship bracelets? Let me know because these were a huge part of my childhood. Okay, we're almost done. So we have a few random sparkly pipe cleaners. Oh my gosh, a vintage box of crayons. And sadly, all the colors are not in here. Um, yeah, as you can see, these are very used and I had to smell it because there's something about the smell of crayons, okay? And then the very last item in this backpack was this pair of fancy scissors. So as you can see, the blade is like jagged and right here, right here on top, that is uh, what you could expect it to look like when you cut a piece of paper. I had lots of scissors like this where they would do different zigzags and swirls and they were so much fun. And I remember me and my brother would always fight over these because they were just elite. Okay guys, so now the backpack is empty. We went through everything that was inside and I really didn't know what to expect, but I feel like I just went down memory lane and now I feel all warm and fuzzy inside and I kind of want to go back just for a couple days. You know, like, do you ever think about a time when you were younger and you're like, oh, I just wish I could go back. Let me know. But anyways, that was all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what your favorite thing to do was when you were in second grade. What was your favorite toy? What did you like to do? What was your favorite food? Let me know. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.